Hello, welcome to the Cherry Garage. Today I'm gonna change the differential fluid and do the full service on the E46 M3. So, I'm gonna show you where your diff is. For you guys at home or in your driveway, you're gonna want to get it up on jack stands and have it level. The car needs to be level so that you can fill it to its proper fill point. You're gonna want a uh, 14 millimeter male Allen key. That's the size of the bolts. You wanna get the BMW Group differential fluid that you can see the part number right here. And the uh, FM, that stands for friction modifier. You wanna get that for these. It helps make sure that the car is not grinding and making unpleasant noises when you are doing tight cornering. You're also gonna want a torque wrench so you can properly torque it once you're all done. And then you need one of these bad boys, just a pump so that you can pump the fluid in to fill it up. Oh, okay. It's 1.2 liters to fill it, but you know you fill it until it starts to come out the top one. So <laughs> you're also gonna want a drain pan. I have that already under here, but I'll go ahead and show you now where it is. Once you're under the car, you get on the right side of it or the passenger side, and on the diff you can see both the fill and drain plug. The fill one is gonna be the one that is higher, and the drain is gonna be the one that's lower. Generally, it's a smart idea to do your top fill plug first so that um, you know for sure that you can fill it back up. Because if you do it the other way around and you drain all your fluid and then you, you can't get the fill cap off, you're hosed. So you do that one first. That's what we're gonna go ahead and do right now. Once you break it loose, you can pretty much undo it with just your fingers. So you can see just a little bit stripping out right now with the car level. That's how you know it was at the proper level before. But once you remove the first one, now you can go ahead and do that bottom bolt. And be warned, this stuff does not smell good. Now it's broke loose. You should be able to just do it by hand. And it just comes pouring out. Be careful. It might shoot out. It's, it's gonna come out Bam. pretty hard here. Ugh. Ugh. Look, look at that. Mine looks awfully clean, which is good. It's a little you do want to check for it to make sure there's no metal shavings in it. If you're at all worried about the integrity of your differential. In this case, you can see, the, or at least we can see from our spot that there's no metal in it, which is good. So let this drain and then come back. So once it's mostly done draining, you can go ahead and replace your drain plug. I went ahead and got new drain and fill plugs. I got the whole um, service kit from FCP Euro. What? FCP Euro is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, if not, make sure you get new little O-rings for yours if you're using your old plugs. Recording, okay, so Double light. here you go, righty tighty. And then torque it down to the manufacturer's spec, which as I recall, 44? is 44 foot pounds. Yeah. And that same size, 14 millimeter male Allen key. And you can tighten your drain plug down to 44 foot pounds. And there you go. Now, we'll be begin the process of filling the differential with the new fluid. Thanks. 10 out of 10 does not smell good. Come on out. Come on out. Uh, okay, just, just put your Just get in your car and go home. Yeah, no, just dump this out in the trunk. What you'll do Don't to pump this in, you stick this guy right in there. Unfortunately, well, you can kind of get it in there. It's just like that. And you're gonna drop this bad boy in your diff and uh, just pump it in there. It's pretty, pump, pump, pretty it straightforward. Huh. So yeah, you feed the hose through. See, you feed it through your fill plug, get it in there, and then if you wanna just hold the bottle, I can pump it. Or okay. Cohen might be able to just do Great. it all. Yeah, I can help hold if you want. You do wanna, once you think you're close to that fill point, Make sure that you have another drain catcher ready. But as you can see, you can see the fluid moving through the hose. You can see the fluid is depleting out of the bottle. So, you just gotta do that with all these bottles. And uh, you basically keep doing it 
until you reach your fill plug. Just keep on pumping, guys. It's gonna take a while. This is a thick fluid that is um just worried. Modified the cord is gonna just pop out. That's good. Oh, and it's good, 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 good. Oh god. There you go. Alright, so now that it's tighten. filled up to its fill point, you gotta take the plug, screw it in. There you go. Just like the drain plug. Just like the drain plug, you're gonna fill this up. Or I'm sorry. Just like the drain plug, you're gonna tighten this down to 44 foot pounds of torque. <laughs> After dropping it. <laughs> Once you hear that click, you're almost done. After that, you wanna go ahead and clean off the bottom of your diff. Some oil has inevitably dripped down it. You wanna wipe that off just so that in the future, when you look at it, you can know if you have any leaks. You shouldn't, because you did everything right, but you never know. So I just sprayed her some brake clean to get that oil off so that we will know if we do have any leaks. So guys, that's how you do your uh, E46 M3 differential service. If this video helped you, Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna do a whole lot more than I already have with this E46, so check that out. Peace.